What's up everybody? Byron and Holly at Hub City Billiards here and today we're going to be continuing our beginner series with the follow shot which is basically just hitting the ball above center. You can hit it center above center, you can hit it left above center, right above center. All of that is considered a draw shot. You'll hear people say top, I mean a follow shot, I'm sorry. Top left, top right, dead center top, terms you hear thrown on around the pool hall all the time. Basically all they're referring to is when you hit that cue ball, after it hits the object ball, you need it to continue to go forward, right? That's how you get position for your next ball and whatever shot they're giving you. So we're going to see some examples of that today, how it looks, how it works. And initially, anybody who is just beginning to practice this type of English on the cue ball, I would recommend don't even worry about making it. Just try to practice the actual shot. Get the cue ball to do what you want it to do. I'm going to grab some chalk and we'll take a look at it. So in this particular scenario, all I'm trying to do is make the cue ball go forward past this line after I hit the nine ball. Any movement is considered a successful shot, but as you practice and you get better at it, you will be able to get more and more action off of the cue ball based on where you hit it and where your comfort level is. So example number one, center, dead top, let the cue ball roll. Now obviously your goal, if possible, is to at least get it to the end rail from where you start, but it's not a requirement that will come in time. I'll give you an example of a small follow shot here so you can see that just by adjusting the power, it can adjust the shot. So here we're going to hit in the same spot, but not as hard. And the cue ball still rolls forward, but not as far. So as you start getting comfortable with this shot, you can start practicing some other things like top left and top right and see what they do for you. You may not get the same action on the cue ball that some of the more experienced players will right off the bat because they've been doing it for years and you're just learning and that's all fine and good. But what you're trying to practice is the ability to make the shot the way you want it. So in this example, we'll just go with a little bit of top left and after I hit this six ball, six ball should travel slightly to the right, cue ball should travel to the left but still in a forward direction. So let's see how that looks. Six ball slightly to the right, cue ball all the way to the left side rail. So I would call that one a successful shot. Did what I wanted to do. So for the one ball, we'll line up directly behind it and hit it with top right. Watch the one ball go left and the cue ball go right. So if you hit the cue ball with what you think is top left and the cue ball doesn't travel left after you hit it, chances are you didn't get enough of the left. You may have gotten the top, it may have still rolled forward, but you may have not got that left on there. So. What I tell people is, and they have training balls that will actually show you this, but in most pool halls they don't have those. So what I tell people is when you look at this cue ball, dead on, eye level, draw a cross. Straight up and down through the middle, back and forth perpendicular across the, the middle that way. That would be your center point. Anything above that is considered top, below that is considered draw, and then your left and right are obviously left and right. So when you hit this shot here, let's say I'm trying to do top right, but I don't aim it upright. Okay, see I still got my top, but I didn't get my right. So what you got to do is you got to come back, line that cue ball back up in the same spot and adjust your tip just a little bit so that you can actually get the left and right movement that you want on it. So I'll come back to the center, 
up for the top, over for the right. And now we're moving forward and right again. So if you practice these shots, just keep in mind that it's not always going to work perfectly every time, but what you're, what you're going for here is the actual movement of the cue ball as close to what you hoping, hoping that it will do as possible. So we'll, we'll, start, a, uh, we'll start another video uh, covering some other basics here real soon. But if you guys have any questions or need anything, give us a call at Hub City Billiards, 806-370-0596, or catch us on the website. HubCityBilliards.com. Y'all have a great day.